Well, it may not have been Australia's day in Germany, but it was certainly in France. The celebrations continue both in Paris and down under after the very first Tour de France win by an Australian. Noni Edwards has this story. If the sights and sounds of Paris in the summertime weren't reward enough for finishing the gruelling 21-day ride, 34-year-old Cadell Evans was able to cruise down the Champs-Élysées for the final stage wearing the winner's yellow jersey and with Australian flags lining the famous boulevard. He crossed the line supported by teammates from the BMC racing outfit. Earlier, Briton Mark Cavendish had crossed the line first, winning today's stage and the green jersey for best sprinter. The third of the prestigious pullovers, the polka dot jersey, was claimed by Samuel Sanchez as king of the mountains. Few people always believed in me. I believed in me and uh, those few people, my team and the few people around me and myself were in the end what mattered most. Here we are today and uh, um, well, we did it. Changing out of the honorary Mayo Jean for the presentation, he climbed onto the podium in team colours, pleasing the crowd with a thank you speech in both French and English. Evans was joined by the Schleck brothers, Andy and Frank, coming second and third for overall time respectively. He was also joined by Australian pop export and longtime Paris resident Tina Arena, who delivered a patriotic rendition of the Australian national anthem. Back home in Australia, friends, family and the general public celebrated too. Twice runner-up to Alberto Contador, Evans finally achieved his glory. Especially sweet since last year he'd been leading the race until he fractured his elbow in a fall, amazingly still completing it. Evans is the first Australian to win Le Tour, but also he's only the third non-European rider to finish in the yellow jersey. Noni Edwards, Emirates News.